Look in your heart and find love. You are victorious. We be proud to be who we are. Cause love, love is victorious. Hello everybody, Nicholas Snow here with a special edition of the Nicholas Snow Show on Promo Homo TV. The network is about connecting the circuitry of humanity by creating programming for LGBTQ plus everyone. And uh, the, the date is December 9th, 2021. Um, as this is being recorded, it is 6.40 p.m. And I just broadcast live the historic swearing in of Lisa Middleton as the only the third transgender mayor in a, an American city in U.S. history and the first transgender mayor uh, of a city in California. Um, it's a historic development and I was able to capture it and that's what's coming up for you. The uh, portion of tonight's Palm Springs City Council meeting that highlights the amazing uh, transformation and uh, the uh, ceremony, a performance by the Trans Chorus of Los Angeles, um, remarks by other council members, um, really, really uh, exciting stuff. Um, I also wanted to let you know that the mayorship of Palm Springs among, uh, rotates among council members who serve one-year terms. Middleton, who became the first out transgender person elected to a non-judicial position in California in 2017, is also running for state senate and uh, will be the first out transgender state legislature in California, uh, let's, let's legislator in California uh, if she wins. So that's perhaps more history. Well, the run is historic, but even more history in the future should Lisa win that seat. Um, I want to thank you for staying tuned. Uh, the ceremony will continue after this. For their ongoing support of Promo Homo TV, I would like to thank DAP Health. One of their value statements, we welcome all people, period. I'm a grateful client of DAP and have been for over 10 years. A big shout out to 849 Restaurant and Lounge, including John Pascal and Willie Ryan, longtime supporters of Promo Homo TV. I want to give a big shout out to the hashtag I Love Gay campaign for helping to expand Promo Homo TV across the Twitterverse and to local media partners KGay1065, Palm Springs and their sister companies the hashtag I Love Gay Palm Springs podcast and GayDesertGuide.LGBT I'm a proud media sponsor of Palm Springs Pride check them out year round at PSPride.org and I'm proud to shine a media spotlight on the LGBTQ Community Center of the Desert. Their mission statement, creating vibrant community by helping LGBTQ people along their way. Find them at thecentercv.org. Can you look in your heart and find love? You are victorious. We be proud to be who we are. I'm coming to you from what is a very surreal city council meeting in the, and actually it's right before the meeting in Palm Springs, California. It's surreal for a couple of reasons. Number one, the pandemic is happening and uh, it's very few people are allowed in this actual space for the meeting tonight, although it is broadcast live on local cable systems and of course here on Promo Homo TV. The other reason that it is a surreal experience is because um, 
history is being made in a historic development. Lisa Middleton will be sworn in as the mayor of the city of Palm Springs tonight, becoming the first transgender mayor in California's history and the third ever in American history. That was part of an official uh, released by J and Z Strategies, who are helping Lisa Middleton's campaign for Senate, but that echoes the sentiment that is being reported by tons of media, uh, news media, and also uh, released by the city of Palm Springs as well. So Lisa Middleton has just entered the chambers. She's on the podium. She's. Uh, taking a seat. This is her wife that has just passed the camera. And uh, sorry about this obscured shot. We'll fix that up. So the mayor of the mayorship of Palm Springs rotates among council members who serve one year terms. Middleton, who became the first out transgender person elected to a non judicial position in California in 2017, is also running for state senate and will be the first out transgender state legislature in California history if she wins. And uh, so. So, Lisa, we happen to be live already because we haven't started on time. How are you feeling at this moment? I'm feeling wonderful. You knew this would be happening for quite a while because of the rotating of the mayor, but still, it, it's profound. It is a really uh, important date uh, in his, for us here locally. It's such a tribute to uh, Palm Springs into who we are as a city, uh, but uh, I'm just one member of city council. And, uh, but I get to be the presiding officer and uh, the title mayor is an important title in our community. Well, I was there the night that you were elected to mm -hmm. city council and I'm honored to be here tonight and I'm looking forward to sharing this historic moment and congratulations. Thank you. Uh, thank you for all the work that you do and I'm thrilled to be a part of this. Well, it's a history and history in the making. Thank you. Go ahead and get started. Good evening. I hereby call the Palm Springs regular city council meeting of December 9th. 2021 to order. For those who would like to join us, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. everybody, Nicholas Snow here, the founder, producer, and host of Promo Homo TV, with information on how you can score an exclusive invitation to my 60th birthday party on the patio right here at 849 Restaurant and Lounge. Promo Homo TV is free across major social media platforms and at promohomo.tv. My goal for my 60th birthday is to find 600 people in the entire world to voluntarily subscribe to Promo Homo TV for as little as $10 a month. If that's you and you subscribe on or before April 24th, 2022, 
you'll score an exclusive invitation to my 60th birthday party on the patio right here at 849 Restaurant and Lounge. If you're outside the area and you subscribe before that date or any time during 2022, I'm going to send you a surprise gift in the fourth month of your support if you're unable to make the party. I'm also offering through April 25th, 2022, 50% off the business listings at Promo Homo TV. And my goal is to sell out all of my series sponsorships as well. Promo Homo TV is connecting the circuitry of humanity by creating programming for LGBTQ plus everyone. And together, we'll continue to give the gift of Promo Homo TV to the world. For more information, simply go to patreon.com slash promohomo TV. That's patreon.com slash promohomo TV. Signing up is easy. I hope to see you here. When you look in your heart and find love, you are victorious. We be proud to be who we are. And now we are moving on to our next presentation, which is appointment of our incoming mayor and mayor pro tem. City clerk, if we could please have a staff report. Honorable Mayor and City Council, uh, pursuant to resolution number 24593 at the first meeting in December, the current mayor pro tem shall succeed to the position of mayor, and the council member in the next sequential district shall be appointed mayor pro tem. Based on this rotation, Lisa Middleton should be appointed mayor, and Grace Garner should be appointed mayor pro tem. And I'm available if you have any questions. Thank you. So next we'll see, we'll move forward for the oath of office um, ceremony. Um, we, we should do a motion. Oh, sorry. I got excited. I want to do that ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> so, can we have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Thank you. There's a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, can we have a roll call vote, please? Council Member Woods? Yes. Council Member Court? Yes. Council Member Gardner? Yes. Mayor Richard Middleton? Aye. Uh, Mayor Holstead? Yes. Motion passes 5 to 0. Thank you. Now we will move on to the more exciting part, which is the oath of office by outgoing Mayor Colstage to Mayor Middleton. So we'll go ahead and go up here near, next to the flag and we will do the oath of office ceremony. That while serving as the mayor of the city of Palm Springs, that will serve as the mayor of the city of Palm Springs, do solemnly affirm, do solemnly affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of California, and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, to the Constitu Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reserva reservation. That I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. 
and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. Discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. Thank you. Congratulations, in addition, for being the first transgender mayor in California's history here in our very own city of Palm Springs. On behalf of the people of California's 36th Congressional District, thank you so much for your dedicated service and congratulations. Victorious, we 
the two most important words in the English language are thank you. My thank yous always begin with my wife and my children. Uh, but I also want to add tonight a very large thank you to outgoing Mayor uh, Chrissy Holstage for your leadership over this past most difficult year. As with Mayor Corps, who are unable to enjoy conducting public meetings in a public place, public presence. I thank you for swearing me in. The example of a departing leader passing responsibility to an incoming leader is something we used to take for granted, but we don't anymore. My thanks and congratulations for the opportunity to serve with Mayor Pro Tem Garner. I want to give a special shout out and thanks to uh, Lily and Congressman Rubies for your support. Uh, to Carolyn Coleman, the Executive Director of the League of California Cities for being here this evening. Uh, I am awed by the trans chorus of Los Angeles. And yes, tonight we are, in fact, victorious. Thank you to my colleagues for this opportunity. I will do my best when speaking on behalf of our city and our council to reflect a unified voice with full respect to the unique views and our individual responsibilities to our districts. Thank you to all the men and women who are employed by the city of Palm Springs. It is because of you and your work that we matter to the residents and visitors of our city. You are, in fact, the ones who make a difference. Most importantly, thank you to the people of this incredible, unique place we call home, Palm Springs. Thank you for the opportunity to serve you. Thank you for the trust you place in each of us. Municipal government is the most accessible of all government entities. You have our phone numbers, our email addresses, you know where we live, and you stop us in grocery aisles, hardware stores, and pretty much everywhere we go. I'll never forget being stopped by a constituent at a farmer's market in Santa Fe, New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> that is as it should be. Earlier this week, we recognized our police and firefighters 
honoring over a dozen of our public safety professionals. Men and women who literally saved lives and showed extraordinary courage, putting their life at risk in order to save someone else's life. In this city, as in other cities, we have serious challenges before us. We have to respond to the COVID pandemic and the pandemic of homelessness. It is past time that California figure out once again how to build an adequate supply of housing. Each of us has a role to play in addressing climate change. But let me talk about something else this evening. There are 19,495 incorporated cities in the United States. There have been cities in the for over 400 years. And tonight, for only the third time in the history of this country, a transgender American has been sworn in to be mayor of an American city. It has been 69 years since Christine Jorgensen was outed on page one of the New York Daily News with a headline equal to that used to announce the end of World War. 52 years since Marsha P. Johnson stood up at Stonewall. 48 years since Jan Morris helped change my life with the publication of Conundrum. Tragically, though, it has only been a few days since the last elected official, virtually, if not literally, stood in a doorway blocking a transgender child from full access to a public school, a public playground, and in some states from the accepted standards of medical care for transgender youth. To be transgender in America today is to know both hope and fear. Our fears are grounded in the lived experience of each of us. They are grounded in the lives lost to violence, to the jobs we did not get, are the jobs we were not able to keep. They are grounded in the health care that was specifically barred from us. But nothing offers more hope than the loving parents of transgender children standing up to the bullies and standing up for their children to be able to grow up to adults living full, authentic, and equal lives. For every elected official blocking doorways there are others opening doors. And across the country, there are places like Palm Springs where the welcome mat is out. I am so grateful and proud of my hometown. Whether you are a lifelong desert rat or a convert to, the, to Palm Springs, you have welcomed Cheryl and I with open arms. Every day, I encounter people in the city making a difference in restaurants, retail, the arts, government, and every walk of life. Their talent is world class. But, so, but for so many, where they were raised, it was not their talent, their work ethic, or their compassion that mattered. It was simply who they were. Turned away at home, we have made a new home and a new family here in Palm Springs. Our work in this city is far from done, but in this city it will always matter most what you are willing to work for and what you are prepared to give back to others. My thanks, and let's get back to work. History being made here in Palm Springs, California, live on Panorama TV. Congratulations, Lisa. Mayor Middleton. And if 
So this isn't open to the public, so this front entrance is actually locked. But okay, so here I am in front of Palm Springs City Hall. And I'm really honored that I was being that I was able to bring that historic coverage to you today. And uh, I didn't anticipate that I would be showing a lot of the meeting beforehand, but I'm just very excited that this happened tonight. It was broadcast locally on our local cable system, but I do believe that my broadcast was the only other broadcast that happened. And because I got so much of the meeting, uh, it's a broadcast of record. Um, I don't have any fresh comments on screen, but uh, I would just simply like to say that I'm grateful that I'm living in a world that continues to evolve. I'm grateful for everyone that chooses to express their truth. And I think that that's what creates change in all of us, when we're willing to express our truth to the people we influence. I also think to the extent that we as individuals withhold our knowledge about any given subject is to the extent we are accountable for the ramifications of ongoing ignorance about those same subjects. So if you know something, if you have a truth and you're keeping it to yourself, shine your light into the darkness. It's been decades of uh, actions like that, in many ways centuries of actions like that, that continue to move us forward sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, but things will materialize when we work for them. That's a paraphrase of a very famous uh, piece of literature. If you know what that is, uh, we're friends of uh, Bill. <laughs> At any rate, I wanna thank you so much for watching this live edition of Promo Homo TV, and I appreciate your support as well. Have a great night. Time for me to wrap it up. And I just can't get enough of your energy.